Hi everyone. So today we are going to work on a snake drawing. So we're still studying about South America. So before we do that, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the snakes you might see there and why they're important. Okay. So in South America, there are more than 170 different species of snakes. Okay. So that doesn't count how many snakes there are. That's just the species of them. There are, just to name a few, there are boa constrictors, anacondas, vipers, and many, many more. And the one thing I did learn that I thought was very, very cool and kind of scary was there is something called a titan boa that is extinct now and has been for a long time, but it weighed more than 2,000 pounds and could be over 40 feet long. So that is a huge, huge snake. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and draw our own version of the snake and it's gonna be climbing a tree. So what you need is crowns and then if you have them, watercolor. So your watercolor paint and water. If you don't have the watercolor, then you can use either your crowns or your markers, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize my screen and we'll go ahead and get started. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get a brown and we are going to lightly draw a tree trunk okay we're going to lightly draw it so we're going to start down at the bottom and go all the way up to the top all right what we're going to do from here is we're going to go ahead and start adding our snake. So it's going to be wrapped around the tree. So what that means is you won't be able to see all of it. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to do a curved line up. And we remember that snakes are skinnier at their tail and get wider as they go up. Okay, so it's going to be skinnier down here at the bottom. It's going to stick out a little bit here. And then we're going to draw an imaginary line back here where it's wrapped up. So basically what we've got is two lines on each part that wrap around the side. And then the last one is going to come up here and we're gonna be able to see its head sticking out here. I'll scoot that down so you can see it. We've got our body, and it's gonna stick out to our head here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we need to design the pattern of our snake. So I'm gonna use some bright reds and oranges, and probably some green. All right, so I'm gonna go over my lines again with my red. I'm gonna start down here at the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding stripes. So your snake does not have to have stripes. All right, it could all be one color. You get to decide what colors you're gonna use and how your snake is gonna look. All right, so there's one section with my red. I'm gonna come up here. So I got the top part just a little too wide, so I'm going to slim it back down some. Trace over its head. Okay. 
am going to get a black so I can add his eyes. I'm going to do a little dot because we're seeing it from the side. I'll trace it over its mouth and have its tongue sticking out. Okay, so I added eyes, big mouth, and its tongue. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to fill in every other section with green. So part of the reason that South America has so many snakes is because of the climate there. Okay, so South America has the rainforest, which is um, a place that gets lots and lots of rain, and so it has a very, very diverse amount of animals. That means it has lots and lots of different animals, and the snakes there are some of the biggest in the world, and that's because there's so many things for them to eat. It's such a good climate for them to be in, all right, because they have to be in warm places or they hibernate. Like around here, they hibernate because they're cold-blooded, which means that their body cannot heat it on its own, okay? They rely on the sun and the warmth of the area that they're in. Snakes are very good climbers. I think most of them can swim. So um, I know when I was little and we would go swimming in the creek on our farm, we would always try and find them. Sometimes we'd find them under rocks. Um, we'd always find them in the hay field. Uh, one time we saw one climbing a tree like this one's doing. So snakes are pretty interesting and they also do a good job of um, keeping rodents and sometimes birds under control. So we like them around our house because they keep the mice out of our house. Alright, I'm almost done with the green. I'm going to do a little band around its head. I'm going to use my orange to color in what's left. So I'm going to have a very colorful snake. The orange and pink almost blend in together, which is fine. I'm going to lightly color in his face with my orange because I still want to be able to see his eye and his mouth. So what we're going to do after we get this finished is we're going to color in, or we're actually going to use our watercolors to color in the tree and the um, sky and we'll probably add some leaves and stuff with our crowns before we do that. So I'm done with my orange. I've got my snake all colored in. Let me see if I can lift this up so you can see it a little better. There we go. Much better. 
All right. So what we're going to do now is you can go ahead and pick out some colors for some leaves. I would just use some greens. And then what we'll do is you could add some leaves coming off the tree. You could have some leaves sticking out the side. Okay, you could have some branches that stick out on the edges. All right, you do need to go over with your brown and darken up the outside of the tree. I'm going to go through and add some leaves on here. All right, now what I'm going to do from here, is I'm going to go ahead and put my crowns up, and then I'm going to get my watercolor out. All right, so if you've had me in class, you know how to use your watercolors, okay? Um, you know that to get a um, good color, what you need to do is get your water and your paintbrush, and we're going to use our brown. So you're going to dip your water in your paint. You're going to come over here and mix up your brown, all right? Now, when you start using it, you need to make sure that your paintbrush has a nice hairdo, all right? So, you can see when your paint starts to dry out that you need some water, but you see how that paintbrush still looks pretty? That's what we want. All right, so we're gonna add more water. I'm carefully painting around the snake I'm painting inside the tree branch or the tree limb. And when my colors start disappearing, I'm going to come over and get some more. I'll work on the bottom section. Now again, if you don't have watercolors, you can always color this in with your markers or with your crowns. If you have markers, you can turn your markers into watercolor. So how you'll do that is you'll color all this in with your markers, and then you just add water to it, and it'll blend just like this is, okay? So again, if you don't have watercolors, you have a way to make your own watercolors. All right, you notice how I'm adding lots of water. I want my paintbrush to have a really good hairdo and stay nice and pretty, not be all spiky. All right, we want it to feel like that. One solid brush. I'm almost done with my brown. All right, now that I'm done with my brown, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, clean out my brush really good, and then I will use my blue. Okay, so for my blue, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully go around the edges of my paper. And I'm working around my leaves and my tree trunk because I don't want it to get in with my brown and get uh, mixed up with it. Okay, I want it to stay really pretty blue.
lots of water. And that's what I'm going to do to the whole background. Anything that's left white, I'm going to go over it with my blues. All right, so I finished one side. I'm ready to work on the other now. Almost got my picture finished. All right, and I'm all done with mine. So after you have yours completed, you let it dry, set it off to the side somewhere. It'll take a little while to dry, and then send me a picture of it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye.